guys, welcome back to another video with Jermaine Man Smooth Marky. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this absolutely amazing Minecraft mod that actually adds the sponge dimension into your Minecraft, guys. And if you guys want to download this mod, the name of the mod is Any Dimension Mod. And this mod adds basically any dimension, guys. Any dimension you want to go to, this mod adds it, guys. So what you're going to need to actually go to the sponge dimension is you're going to need a flint and steel, you're going to need an ender pal, you're going to need a sponge block, and you're going to need two sticks, and that's how you make the igniter, so this is basically like the flint and steel, um, so that's, it's really simple to make, guys, like I said, flint and steel, uh, an ender pal, the sponge block, and two sticks, that's really simple to make, guys, you're also going to need 14 blocks of sponge to actually make the frame, so that acts like the obsidian, you're going to need a fishing rod, because why not, guys, all the pros use them, I know all the pros, they're not even using diamond swords anymore. They're just moving to sprayed up fishing rods. Me, I gotta take my diamond sword, guys, because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna be facing some really tough mobs. I also got some pig and cow spawn eggs, because they're friends, guys. They love, they love sponges. They absolutely love sponges. That's why I gotta take them, guys. Over here, in this chest, is where I actually got the bookshelf um, stuff to go to the bookshelf dimension. So what you're gonna need is basically the same stuff. Guys, the ender pal, the flint and steel, and a bookshelf. And that's basically how you make the igniter. And if you guys are wondering how to make bookshelves, it's six blocks of wood, and then it's three books. So that is how you make a bookshelf, guys. It's pretty simple. You're going to need 13 bookshelves, and you're also going to need that one bookshelf. So you actually need 15 bookshelves. And I also got some villagers, guys. And I also got some iron golems, because... Hopefully the villagers will be able to make their own little village and the iron golems will be able to keep them villagers safe. I know iron golems and villagers really love each other. That's why I want them to enjoy this dimension more and give them the bookshelf dimension to live in, do whatever they want. I also got a bow and some arrows, guys, because the, it's going to be creepers, zombie, just a bunch of mobs, guys. So you want to watch out for that and you want to pack some weapons. And what are these eggs doing on the ground? I'm not for sure what these eggs are doing on the ground. But before we go to the sponge dimension, I need to get Spongebob's blessing. He says, hi, I'm Spongebob. Spongebob, can we go to the sponge dimension? Raise your arms if we can. Are you going to raise your arms? Is he going to raise his arms? Oh, he did. He did. He wants us to go to the dimension, guys. He wants us to go to the dimension. You heard it from her first, guys. He wants me to go to the sponge dimension. He loves the sponge dimension. I love the sponge dimension. So we're going to go to the sponge dimension. Uh, he says, he, he told me earlier to watch out for the creepers and stuff because there's a lot of mobs in the sponge dimension. But I told him it's alright because I'm going to take some pigs. I'm going to take some cows. And they're going to beat up any mobs that come my way. So if zombies come my way, boom. Cow take out a zombie. Boom. If a creeper comes my way, the pig is going to take out the creeper. So I'm going to be protected in this dimension, guys. And all you do is just light it up. I'm not sure if this does anything to, like, chickens or anything. I don't think it does. It, it don't do anything to chickens or anything. But I know it does. Eggs! Oh, he just got hit with an egg, guys. And now he's running around crazy. It would have been funny if it was, like, hatched when I hit him in the head with that egg. And, whoa, I about hit that zombie pigman, guys. That would have been bad. That would have been so bad if I would have hit that zombie pigman. He would have probably just attacked me and killed me. But down there's a bunch of water, and that's really confusing because this is a sponge dimension. I don't know how the water's down there, guys. But we're going to jump off of this, and hopefully it ain't like an illusion. There's really no water down there, so let's jump. Oh, there's really water, guys. This is really water. That would have been that would have been so mean if I would have jumped down, and this would have been like some kind of blue block, and I would have ended up dying, guys. But as you guys can see, over there's like some kind of structure. So this is basically like the nether. It has them structures in it, and you can go and find the chest in the actual, like, I think it's called like a stronghold or something like the nether stronghold and you can actually like find diamonds and stuff but i'm going to put these cows and these pigs on this small island and hopefully they do expand out into the sponge dimension and soon it'll just be overfilled with you know cows pigs and hopefully they do kill off all the mobs but over there is some mobs guys and as you can see they're really dangerous this looks like it has uh, zombies and skeletons, but some of the other dimensions actually have different mobs, so they basically split it up. So, like, some might have zombie, some might have 
um, free throws. Some some might have them all. You just never know what you're going to get in these dimensions because they spawn different mobs in each dimension. So let's hurry up and go to the bookshelf dimension before these zombies make it over here. So let's hope that we can get this built before they make it. Oh, they've done made it, guys. I'm going to have to take them out with headshots. 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 It'd be really cool if you could, like, shoot through one zombie and it would go through the other zombie. So you could, like, get a double kill um, out with one arrow. That would be, like, super cool if they made, like, a mod that did that, guys. They probably do have a mod. I might, I might search that up later, guys. But what you want to do is you just want to build this, like, a regular nether frame, just like the sponge one. And then you basically just take the igniter and just light it up. Just like you did the sponge one, it's not complicated. If you wanted to, you could take the shortcut and not make that extra block. So you could make it only 10 blocks that you need. But I like to add the extra one, guys, just for the uh, curve appeal, I guess. So let's go fishing for this cow and see if we can actually bring him into the bookshelf dimension. Come on. Come on, cow. Come on. Come on. Let's see if I can actually fish him out of this water. I know it's possible. I know it is possible to get that cow out of the water, but I just can't do it, guys. I just can't do it. Let's go ahead and light this frame and actually see if we get him on the fishing line, if he actually goes through the dimension. So let's go ahead and light this up. And I about lit it with the wrong igniter, guys, but it don't do anything if you light it with another igniter. So let's go ahead and jump on through this dimension. And right here it is, guys. This is absolutely amazing, guys. Just look at this dimension. It's just a bunch of bookshelves. It actually looks really cool, guys. I really love the way this dimension looks. It almost looks like just a wood dimension when you're just, like, looking at the flat ground. But then when you see the bookshelves, it really, really looks nice, guys, and really stands out. There's a bunch of mobs. This is a really dangerous dimension, guys. I'm not for sure why there's so much mobs in this dimension. Maybe they just love books. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe mobs actually love books. <laughs> that's why they're all in this dimension. And the iron golems are going to work, but they are not killing any of the creepers because iron golems do not kill creepers, guys. I'm not for sure why they don't kill creepers. Maybe they really love creepers. I'm not for sure, guys. But overall, I think this is an absolutely amazing dimension. I think the iron golems and the villagers are going to absolutely love this dimension. It's a great place for them to raise their children. But let me know what you guys think about this dimension down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.